Hello, there are no real guns in this airsoft video. They are just toys for airsoft nerds like me. Now spank that like button, daddy. Testing, testing. What's up, guys? You're making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> Very big screwdriver. I'll take that, I'll take that off. Great for buffer yeah. tubes. Right then, tell me about this uh, beautiful gun. First of all, this thing started like a very long time ago, so it took a big place in my heart. Um, I think it's two years by now from when you're gonna see this video. When is this gonna be launched? Next few days? Yeah, next few okay, days. Okay, so about two years ago, we started this whole project because when you look into the airsoft market, there's guns which you can get in a really high-end configuration, and then yeah. there's guns where it's kind of like, you know, I would like to have it, but you can't really get a good one. And the AR-15 is, man, you can get killer AR-15. For very little goals. money, you can get really high-performing guns. With electronic triggers inside, with nice feeling bodies, no wobbles, rock solid, modernized. Mm -hmm. And the P90, the platform was really lacking. Like it was kind of left out, even though it's such a popular gun. And this is why we said someone has to do it. It's Let's a CQB make... monster. Let's be honest, it is great. Yes, the it CQB. Is. Yeah. Some people even say that. Actually, I think Stay Fresh said that that if someone would create an airsoft gun that's just meant to be efficient, mm. but you don't, you know, you kind of disregard how a real gun would look like. He believed it would look somewhat like a P90. It's extremely compact. You can. Throw it into your backpack, just drive to the field, compact, short, lightweight, maneuverable. And the barrel length is more than enough. Like this is the barrel length, you can create the speed, um, you do get the precision easily in airsoft. I mean, we all know barrel length is not that important, but it gives you the speed, so it gives you high efficiency of the gearbox. It gives me a Call of Duty 4 vibes, you know? Yeah. I guess it's a, it's a, it's a characteristic gun, it's got a lot of history. It is, like when- A lot of history. Yes. When we started the project also, when I was holding it in my hand, I was kind of mad at it. Just reminds me of those. You know, there's uh, in Call of Duty 4, there's a map called Shipment. Yeah. Do you yeah, know it? Yeah, Man, yeah, it's yeah. just crazy. Like, yeah. when there's multiple people on there, you need something with 50 rounds. Yeah. But there's a high rate of fire, and the P90 is just the way to go. Yeah, we're really happy to start the project, and it was a lot of work, and it was really hard. It was a lot of grind because we tried to um, not just make another P90 that's, you know, a little bit better, but we really tried to go all out to modernize the external to make it um, appealing to someone who uses an AR 15. Yeah. Um, because we believe this is sometimes the issue that people say, I would run this platform, but, you know, I don't have QD or it's not very modeler or it's it's just not really state of the art anymore because while AR-15s constantly evolve the other guns are kind of like in the dark in the dark especially yeah. in airsoft like in real steel P90s evolved yeah they have like also model receivers they have um, picatinny like minimal picatinny rail adapters which I can show you later um, so they did that but in in airsoft it kind of got kind of like because behind. it's so unique the yes it's, so it's unique, a small so it's niche. small places you know yes exactly yeah. so you've, you've changed lots of stuff with the rail right exactly um, let's just start with the externals let's start with the front um, we do have an aluminium receiver we try to keep everything lightweight we um, the goal was not to make it as realistic as possible Possible, mm. but more like as usable as possible while still making it look like a P90. Which, like scale one, it is one to one. However, you will see there's some different angles to make it look more aggressive and more cool look. I've seen a lot of rail spaces, what, what yes, I like. A lot making, of rail vid space. making videos. I want to see that space for the cameras, you know. Obviously, there's a D bar on there now, but you can get a scope cam on there, have a little pet box up here, maybe put a, the GoPro Hero 5 on the rails here with your sight. So I'm seeing a lot of rail space, which I like, especially in these little bits here as well. Yeah, so this one is an aftermarket part, so you don't need to use it. If you want a more classic look, you can you know, remove the, the suppressor right here. You can remove this rail section right here. But yeah, if you say um, you want that CGB monster, you want a pack box mm. on there, you're playing night missions and so on, Light games, not we don't do missions here, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, it gives you the option. You can put a pack box on a P90. It doesn't look ridiculous because if you put it on top, it's you know it's kind of wonky. It's low sitting, which people appreciate. Yeah, uh, the laser sits close to the boy axis, which is nice. Um, M lock. I think it's the first ever M lock P90 receiver in airsoft for sure. I think in real steel they're even hard to find. I did. I did ask you about that when I saw it, didn't I? Yeah. I was like, where's all the Picatinny? But you prefer M lock, don't you? Think it's the I most think sexy. I think M lock huh? is the future. Okay. I'm actually surprised you yeah. you say you want Picatinny on there. I'm old school. That's yeah. the old school in there. Okay. You know? We did. Uh, we left the Picatinny on top, obviously for optics because that's still the standard. Um, but yeah, for the side, we just that's our design language right now. M lock on everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which we believe is the way to go. The entire receiver is modular, so we can actually take these. Two two pieces off and I can bolt a tiny rail here. It makes it look very minimalistic. Then you basically have this line going all the way down. Um, we have a nylon fiber body, so fiber reinforced. It's strong, it's nice. Uh, we did take care of small details, which I think are really important, like the QD here. Because P90s, they again were kind of left back when it comes to development of um, standards and adapting to certain standards like QD. This is why right here, you can basically hang your um, also oh, on nice. both sides, yeah, you could nice. do right here. 
any tanks, exactly. Which is, which is really wonder. important. Obviously, I, lo I love CQB. It's really important, especially yeah. something I got taught is if you want a weapon that's slung correctly, you really do want it within this region of your body, just, just underneath your chin. So when you come into contact, you can retaliate with the gun either on your right shoulder or your left. So that's, that's a really nice feature because they originally didn't come with these, did they? You would have to... Yeah, exactly. You would have to... There's multiple options, but people had those Velcro at that, like goes through here and then you loop it around Rack and you have a little around, heat. Horrible, yeah. So yeah. It's, they work, but it's not pretty and it's just... It's not QD, like you can't get out of this sling easily. And Airsoft is about looking yes. pretty, let's be honest, come on. So this one gives you all the options of um, doing your shoulder changes and, you know, you can, you can do it all, basically. And doesn't it also have a binary trigger? Yes. So internally, uh, we really try to go away from the idea of this is a niche gun, so you know, just make it another stock gun. It is obviously stock, yeah, that's <laughs> how you get it. Um, but we really try to make it uh, perform on the level of high-end ARs um, that are on the market right now. So, so I can run you... compete in a forest? Yes, you can also run. That's the thing. Like a short gun works in a forest just as well as a okay. long gun. Right. That's right. yeah. So it'll hold, it'll hold its own then. Yeah, yeah. You can you can use this in the forest definitely. Internally, I don't know sure it goes through all the specs. It's a long, 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 mm, long yeah, list. Yeah. Maybe just the most important Where things. Where can they find the specs? Um, on the website. It's all there. Yeah. But for the end user, what you get is a very reliable system. Like there's CNC gears in there. There's a CNC steel rack on the piston. It's a quick spring exchange. So you can do that if you want to switch between CQB uh, forest games. You can access that just through here. There's massive battery space in there. There's an enlarged butt pad, so you have um, space for your cables and all that. There's an electronic trigger unit in there with all the bits and pieces, so full cycle control, pre-cocking adjustment, binary trigger as well. You can switch it into burst. Um, this one, not yet, because this is actually a German version. So this one is ah, okay. um, semi-only to what I... Exciting. I've been told by the developers, I just got it from one of the developers, this is a pre-production model. It's also not final final. You see that, for example, this part here is still 3D printed. Yeah. But towards the front and towards the guts of the gun, this is as, as final as it gets. Yeah. Go. <sighs> Finally, some CQB goodness, boys. Let's go. Come on, Norwich. I like it. I like it. Beautiful. Try the mega change. Did you work with P90s? Oh my bit, god. Is this no, new? never. I've never yeah. used but I'm guessing so it's... You, you pull back. You pull back and you lift. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's it. Max. Is that it? And then just throw it in again. Eh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I've never actually, I've never actually used a P90 in, a, in a, an airsoft game before, so. Exactly. So, um, magazine. We have uh, two different magazines available. One is 100 rounds. One is 180 rounds. This is 180 rounds. It's transparent, so you can always just have a look at your. Um, and you got the mag release catch from both sides as well. Yeah, exactly. The full gun is ambi. Like it's a full ambi gun. Um, got a flat trigger there, just because it looks sexy. And you can actually... <laughs> so the idea is also that this could be kind of like a speed QB-ish gun. Oh, definitely. Because definitely. we will have uh, many of these parts in red, gold, That's and so on. That's quite exciting. It's going to be interesting to see how the different genres of airsoft yeah, people exactly. are going to take to the gun. Like the milsimmers, the speed softers. <laughs> you know, exactly. it's going to be interesting. Very yeah. diverse. I like that. So we will have soon, uh, you know, red trigger, golden trigger. We will have these parts in different colors, QDs in different colors. So if you want the, uh, like, not two-toned in the mm, sense of UK yeah, two-toned, yeah, yeah. but like yeah. sexy looking two-toned. Um, yeah, you can do that. We also, actually something I would like to show you is also the mag pouch, um, because P90 mag pouch were always kind of a you know pain to find and all that. So we tried to make a nice modern looking one. This one right Laser here. Laser cut, huh? Laser cut, of course. You have the retention band on the side. Um, you can use it in two different configurations. If you're afraid that you're going to lose it, um, you can just put that. That's the wrong way around. That's how you put it Because that's traditionally in. how a lot of M4 mag pouches were like. Exactly. So you can put that here on top. So that's your retention cord. It goes right yeah, into the yeah, groove yeah. where it locks. But if you say you're, you know, you're more like you're a chess guy. You're skirmish. You know, exactly. No you can also just keep it open here with the Velcro. Just cool, man. There. So that was taken care of as well. I actually like that. That's, that's, that's cool. And it's also made in a way that... As you see, the, the mole uh, is kind of hidden in here. Yeah. So you can also mount it this way with the, how are they called again? The adapter plates? Uh, um, the plastic ones. Oh, I God. Can't I can't remember. Anyways, <laughs> you can mount them like this. You can mount them like that. Yeah. So you can have them back. Um, just pull them out like this. To That's get, cool. Which is nice, actually, because when you have them like this, yeah, it's hard to bend over. Definitely. But if you have them yeah. like that, it kind of That's what, like That's this. what I was just thinking in my head, like I'd, how I would have it on my, bad, on my, yeah. on my body. A body, admin space, you know, but like, yeah, you'd figure it out. It's cool stuff. In which fields would you run it? Um, I'd take the Anzio. Buildings, clearing buildings, yeah. sneaking from building to building. Because obviously, thanks, I don't want to fuck it up. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, with an, with a traditionally with an M4, when you when you go around corners, you you do that whole mannerism where you bring the gun in to go around the corner, but this just really isn't that necessary. Especially once you so take it's gonna, it's going to be interesting, like. It's, it's yeah. gonna it's gonna cut down your flanking time, sneaking up on enemies because it, it's just it's it's characteristics, it's mannerisms, you know, going around corners, reloading, acquiring targets quicker. So I'd be really excited to make a gameplay with this, take it to like some built up areas, yeah. a bit of CQB, would clear you run rooms it with all the stuff on it, or would you try to keep it like as minimal as possible? Um, well, obviously, I, obviously, I'm running cameras, yeah. so you have to, for me, you always have to take that into consideration. So I'd, I'd probably have my fake pet box there that's got the scope cam and face yeah. cam in. Um, but torch wise, um, where you've probably mounted it, to be honest, or like what we spoke about the other day, is having so, like if you could continue this or something that would go around and then a light underneath. Yeah, we do but, actually have. We actually have a 3D printer prototype of a really cool one on this. I can show that you. That would be really yeah. cool. It's cool. And then, like, you could put like the light press all like there or something. Yes. You know? Yeah. I'm down. This is Chat Desert Fox, and I see you on the field. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Tech shoes never flew in wet. Solomon vibes, them and know they dead. TM416 Delta, never CQB when I blow their head. Chamber throwing death, the units trace on the glowing flex. Did it a C man throwing red? Team dead in the burrow step. 350 FPS in his hearty M4 stand. The platform I'm calm G. D bull laser strapped for your party. Switching and bring it back for my doggy. Nico CO2 to their body. GoPro filming man, but I'm army. Pick the man, but they're hardly. I don't see the trash cut on fast team. We're all keys at Gabison. BBs all battle them. To the knees, my G's pop team on a hammer room. Double G's on my belt, they pre my team's whole swagger room. We too arrogant. They gon' bleed when I shatter them. Hop units still spin like.